Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial where I will show you how to use iOS keyboard shortcuts to speed up the process of making text annotations in Fourscore, especially for words and phrases that you use over and over again when marking your score. If you've used the normal Fourscore annotation feature, you've probably observed that it can be quite tedious. You have to enter the annotation mode, find a place for your text annotation, and then enter the text using the virtual keyboard, which can be quite tedious if you have a lot of text to enter. Now that's where iOS keyboard shortcuts can help us. To access those, let's go to the iPad settings. You'll find them under General, and if you scroll down to the very bottom, tap on Keyboard, and at the bottom of this section, you'll see a section called Shortcuts. And this is basically a text expansion tool that lets you enter a few letters and then have them be expanded into a whole phrase or a whole word. So you can see that I have a few examples here, and I'd like to add a new one. For this example, let's say I want to use the marking poco a poco crescendo in my score. So I can enter that as the phrase. And then for my shortcut, I'll pick a combination of letters that will automatically get expanded to the full phrase. So I'll enter PPC for this example. Hit save on the top right corner and then I'll switch back into Fourscore. So I'm going to try out this shortcut now. This time I'll enter the text annotation mode by using a gesture shortcut that I've already set up and that's my two finger tap so I only need that one gesture to enter annotation mode and if you haven't done that, I, su I suggest setting that up in your settings. It makes things a lot faster. So let's try using the shortcut now. This time I'll enter PPC. And you can see that the whole phrase has been suggested to me. And I can accept it by tapping the Done button on the top right of the keyboard. Or just tapping anywhere on the screen will also accept it. So that's a way of creating text shortcuts that will allow you with just a few keystrokes to use phrases and words that uh, might take a lot longer to type in if you're just using the regular virtual keyboard. Uh, a couple points that I should bring up about using this method. One is that this text expansion shortcut method will actually be active. It'll take effect in all of your apps for all of your typing. So you'll probably want to choose a combination of letters that you're not going to use all that often for other contexts outside of Fourscore. So if you're typing an email or if you're entering some information on a web form or something, you're not going to accidentally type in shortcuts that you would normally just use for music notation. And the other point that I wanted to mention is that if you've seen some of the other video tutorials on my YouTube channel, you might have seen another method for speeding up text annotations using an app called Faced. And I think that this method is actually a little bit faster than that, providing that you're willing to and able to memorize a few letter combinations for those text shortcuts. So there's a couple of methods to do this kind of um, text shortcutting for long words and phrases, and they have their pros and cons. Well, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and please check out my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more Fourscore tutorials or tutorials on other kinds of music technology.